if you can keep focused vibrationally in what you know excites you and you can stay tuned to that, now you're going to really transform these conditions as they meet you one by one, as they're trying to kind of test your new resolve, your new intention, your new expansion. They're kind of like ways to allow yourself to really choose. Are you sure you want the next level? Unrestricted desire is bliss. And what happens when you're in bliss? You're connected. What happens when you're connected? You feel the power of the whole universe swirling inside you. What happens when you feel the power of the whole universe swirling inside you? You feel at one with everything. What happens when you feel at one with everything? You naturally exude love and forgiveness and unconditionality because you don't need anything from anyone. All the problems that we're trying to fix with meditation and spirituality are the result of you restricting your desires, of you disagreeing with what you're built to become. All of it, all your problems, all the stinky little ponds that you then try to kind of monk-like Buddhist monastery cell manage respectfully with, with equanimity, which is another word for suppression in most people's cases. Most equanimous persons are actually just suppressed as fuck and they've gotten really tolerable about that. You're suppressing the universe's expansion, or you're trying to. You're not succeeding. That's why I say you're fucked. You're you're as greedy as God is. You're as selfish as God is. You're as crazy as God is. You're as expansive as God is. You're as fast moving as God is. Anything less than that that you accept is just a disagreement with the truth. That's why it feels bad. And then you need mindfulness to manage feeling bad and to become more tolerable of feeling bad but it's you going against the entire guidance system of the universe. So fuck it. Be crazy. Be delusional. God is the most delusional. It's the most delusional. Everything is delusion. It's just about picking yours, you know? Do you want a stale sort of society, societally accepted version of delusion? Do you want the crazy that's happening in the world right now? Or do you want the crazy of manifesting Shambhala with it? A bunch of crazy people. You know, choose your delusion. It's all delusion. It's all illusion. So choose yours. Don't restrict it. Go with the flow. Allow this vortex to move you. Allow this ever-expanding flow to enter into your body, into your mind, into your actions, into your inspiration. Agree with your expansion. Stop disagreeing with your expansion. It's why you're here. Fun, huh? All right, so the present is the past. And the future is actually the present. Because, and I've called this future presence in the past, and I'll call it that again, because I think it's a fitting term. So future hyphenation, hyphen uh, presence, future presence. To live in future presence instead of the living in the facts of what is. And there's a real art to this, to ignoring and some courage required. Ignoring the facts doesn't mean you oppose the facts because that would still be taking the facts to be real. And that's where opposition comes in and that's where resistance comes in and that's where conflict comes in and that's where conditional love comes in and that's where trying to demand respect comes in. All that resistant energy is the result of still going by the facts. But if someone tells you something like, oh, you can never do that. If you don't, pay attention to the facts or if, if life seems to de demonstrate to you if you have a day two challenge and there's a situation like oh fuck i really thought i could do this i was so lit up by this new initiative this new desire but i have kids or but i don't have money in my bank account or but what will people think of me anytime you go there again watch what your frequency does watch what you're now going to perpetuate and attract and generate you're not helping you're resisting you're struggling. But if you're unrestricted, if you're unresisted, then there is no need for you to impose on anyone else or to try to prove the world wrong or to try to prove the facts wrong. There's simply no need because you're not focused at that level of what is. You're not fact checking your desire. You stay true to your desire, which is what's calling you forth. You've already had the desire or a lot of them. You're going to birth new ones, but you have a lot of expansions that are already awaiting you. So now you just want to stay true to that which you have desired into being. And now you want to align to that. And if someone tells you, no, you can't, there's no reason for you to say, yes, I can. Nor is there a reason for you to believe, oh, you're right, I can't. 
both of these are the dualities that come with fact checking based on what is, but what is has absolutely no power. Nothing in physical reality has any power to prevent your imagination, to prevent you, you from living in future presence. And I say imagination, I don't just mean like, oh, imagine this, imagine that, although that's a component of it. But I mean, being in that state of conviction of being connected to what you've already launched into this vibrational reality and aligning to that, being, staying true to that. It's another way of saying, have faith. Someone tells you no, or something in your conditions of your reality appear to say, no, you can't, or no, you shouldn't, or no, this or that, whatever the no or limitation is that's testing you. If you can keep focused vibrationally in what you know excites you, and you can stay tuned to that, now you're going to really transform these conditions as they meet you one by one, as they're trying to kind of test your new resolve, your new intention, your new expansion. They're kind of like ways to allow yourself to really choose. Are you sure you want the next level? Are you sure you want to speed up? Are you sure you want to swirl around like a crazy person? Or very clear and calm and confident crazy person, by the way. Or do you want to submit to physical reality? submit to the facts and interpretations you have at that level, which is the level that birthed the desire. But now you're staying true vibrationally. You're staying true. You keep observing the very thing that caused the expansion, but you got to let go of the condition that caused the expansion. And now you got to go with the expansion, which means you have to ignore what is and live in the future presence of your conviction, of your faith, of your vibrational reality, tune into your vortex, be in that receptive mode, be meditative, be creative, be convinced be in confidence, which means you have to let go of the tempting habit to, again, fact check not only your desires, but also fact check if they're happening or not, or if you're worthy of them or not, or if they're manifesting it or not. Like not be so dependent on the physical senses. Because it doesn't matter what's happening to the physical senses. It doesn't mean that what you've desired hasn't already been created, because it has. What you expanded into, the expansion was immediately given. Ask and it is given. If you stay true to that, if you have faith, then it shall manifest also to the physical senses. And this gives you so much more energy to be naturally in tune with appreciating all of creation, feeling the oneness of it, the harmony of it. It's very difficult to attain a state of oneness in your meditations, if you're coming from a place of restricting yourself, your expansion, of being unnatural, basically. It's an unnatural way of being. So you have all these limiting ideas and all these arguments with your own expansion, the things you set you have become vibrationally. Going against that and then trying to mitigate feeling bad with meditation and trying to reach oneness and the pure I am and so forth, but without a holistic energy flow is very difficult. It's very difficult. Whereas if you're naturally expensive, you're naturally exuberant and you're not just focused on getting the Ferrari, you know, you you've matured beyond that. You understand it's about raising your state of being. It's about becoming what you're meant to become your blueprint, your expansion and adding to the expansion of the creator. It's about the never ending journey of expansion and if you can align to that, if you can begin to agree with that, give yourself permission to agree with that flow, then suddenly you have so much energy. You've got so much clarity naturally coming to you because you're attuned. You're resonating with the whole of the universe, the wholeness. Then your meditations will come easy. They'll be energized. They'll be clear. There can be thoughts or no thoughts. It doesn't even matter. Your thoughts will be of the highest nature. They'll be producing new universes somewhere. You won't be thinking, you'll be listening. It'll just be happening. It's source thinking for you. It's just a vortex. Your mind starts to become the vortex. The vortex is your mind. So now every action is inspired. It's not doership. It's not from a state of resistance. Now as a physical body, I'm going to try to make a difference or control things. There's no need to control anything. Only if you agree to the facts, then you... The only way to be happy is to control things. But if you're aligned, and you all know this, from moments of alignment, of exuberance, of bliss, of joy, of expansion, you have no desire to control anything or anyone. 
because there's no doubt because you're not fact checking anything. It feels kind of like you're disconnected from the world, but in the most pleasant kind of way. You feel so clear and stable in yourself, not in the world, but in yourself. And the world doesn't even really appear anymore. And in the enlightenment teachings, when we say things like, you know, if you go deeply enough into the I or the I am or the pure awareness, the world starts to disappear or there is no world even, or in the absolute, there is no universe whatsoever. There's not even a creation. When we say things like that, it very much matches up with living in future presence, becoming subtler and subtler in your frequency, in your faith, and allowing, being in agreement with the universe, more and more will you just experience the expansion, the subtlety, the calm, the peace, the love, the joy, the exuberance of that expansion, and less and less will you see a world. You stop agreeing with the world. You stop agreeing with other people, which are just echoes of your own mind, your own conditioning. And then you're free. Then you're flying high. And from your flying high, as Ra says to the disciplined seeker, everything is free and open. Meaning, asking it is given. Have a question and the answer shall be there instantly. Everything is open and free to the disciplined personality. What does that mean in this context? It means you care more about your frequency than you care about the facts of this world. It's that simple. Don't let physical reality distract you. It has absolutely no power to stop your future presence. 